and hello to all those non-humans and ascended master humans also watching Gita Rose here. Thank you for tuning in. I feel like I need to shorten that. I'm back on YouTube. Yay! But like that's too long. Hello humans! <sighs> okay, though, so for reals. Hi everyone! How's everyone doing in this new reality, new reality, new reality, new reality? Um, I am making this video because I wanted to just start the ball rolling of talking to the camera again in this now and editing and just doing it and not necessarily overthinking, even though this video is an example of me overthinking because I am now, as you guys can see, back in California in my usual setting, my usual place, but I was in Hawaii for the last month or so. And on social media, I've been posting very nebulously and enigmatically and was just starting to feel weird. And now I feel like a total influencer, uh, but I'm tan. And honestly, right now, that's really all that I care about. Is utilizing my desire to stay tan to fuel my translation of my true desire and excitement. The things that allow me to stay tan are things that I really enjoy doing. Being outside, being in sunshine, being close to fresh water and ocean water. So that is my fueling desire right now is following my excitement that will lead me within my current belief structure to staying tan. I live in Marin County. Um, I've lived in Marin County for the past eight years, pretty consistently. Um, the interviews with Extra Dimensionals with Ruben Langdon on Gaia, we filmed in Hawaii. And I lived in Hawaii, Hawaii for a few years. Um, but yeah, I'm born and raised in Marin County and I'm so thankful to be able to live here. Um, because it is really similar in ways to Hawaii in terms of a little bit of surf, surf culture here and lots of hiking and lots of fresh water even when we are in a pretty severe drought right now. Lots of affluence um, and also a indigenous peoples um, that are largely unrepresented here in Marin County, those being the peoples of the Miwok tribes. It's a whole other thing, but there's a lot of similarities in ways from my perspective of Marin County and Hawaii. And of course in Hawaii there is more of a representation of the indigenous cultures. But other similarities are the deep connection with nature, lots of different diversity, different microclimates. I, I don't even know what I was talking about. I ran out of storage and then so it just stopped. I don't even know what I was talking about. What is this video about? What is this video about? <laughs> I'll share more about Marin in videos to come, maybe. I film a lot that I don't edit and I would just much rather go outside and film more, but then I need to use what I film. Here comes the runners again. <laughs> There's definitely some things that are not like being in Hawaii. <laughs> Just like out here in a bathing suit on a log. Like This is a little like interlude reprieve from the other talking head shot. Being uncomfortable a lot of the time is part of following your excitement. It's always kind of contained within it. That's the point of it, because then you get to find the beliefs, right? And, and, and know your beliefs and be able to still do the thing that you want to do and push through it. 
it's always there. <clears throat> I got a phone call and then I decided to put some clothes on. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's not like Hawaii at all. And I'm reminded of how much more challenging it is to be kind of like out and removed. But then also at the same time, that place of paradox where it really is just what you focus on and how you focus on it. I strategically frame stuff all the time to make it look as pretty as possible. Even in Hawaii, you know, sometimes you have to do that. There's, it's amazing really how much rubbish and stuff is just everywhere. But I'm really excited to do more kind of artsy vlogs and to tell my story the last month or so in a way that is pretty and inspiring and entertaining. And more Bella content. I am excited to just do more channeling and more storytelling from her perspective, more art, kind of cartoon-based stuff. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Uh, I'm so self-aware right now. It's really interesting. What is this video? What is the point of this video though? Like that is the thing that is always relative is I do like to have a point. I'm in Marin. I'm gonna start YouTubing again. I'm catching people up on what I'm doing and what my intentions are. Yoga videos and emotional processing videos, but those are gonna come a little bit later. And like, just being more honest and more authentic, I suppose, in terms of letting you guys know more of like who I actually am, I guess, as a person. And I, I am challenged a lot by self-hatred, a lot. I push through it most of the time. But I have this bizarre <clears throat> dichotomy of wanting to make art and having fun with how we present ourselves in social media, having fun with creating these like really visually striking images. Like it's challenging and it's fun. It's super challenging doing it all yourself and I have so much fun doing it. But then I look at the my days and I observe how much time I spend looking at myself and I hate myself, but it's fun, but I hate myself. So just choose the part where you think it's fun and just keep focusing on the part that thinks it's fun. I think most of us have a very severe type of self-hatred. I think it's a big part of the disconnect, a big part of what we're moving through, remembering, being the, physicalization of, of love. So it's good to share that. It's good to know that you're not alone. Yeah, it's good to share that. So I'm excited to share more of <clears throat> my actual self and to still do things in a very kind of curated way. Look at my hair. My hair is so gross. <laughs> Like really, dude, I haven't, I don't know the last time I washed it and it's so dry from the ocean. I like probably need to cut it, but I don't want to. See, that was a really good example right there. So good to know that we're not alone. Yeah, basically just doing more of what I've been saying that I'm going to, to do. And thank you so much, those of you watching that have supported me from the beginning of starting these different YouTube videos and the different ways that I've been sharing. Like, thank you so much. And hello to any new people who may be finding this. Thank you for your curiosity and your authenticity 
and knowing how to navigate what feels really good for you. So yeah, I just wanted to be honest in a way and just to share with you guys where I am and that I am going through a challenging time right now and that I am inspired to be able to share that and wanting to do it in a way that is still artistic or, or based in storytelling, I guess. So stay tuned if you like. And again, this, I was, talking and I didn't know what was being recorded. So I'm constantly, we are constantly flipping in and out of our time streams and jumping around all over the place. And every moment in is new, every moment in mom, 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 new, 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 talking, what? <laughs> and yeah, here we go. Here we go on a new chapter, on a new journey. And wherever you are right now is exactly where you need to be or you wouldn't be there. And we always have the ability to change, to be somewhere new as someone new. Always, always have that ability to change, to make a new choice and to know why we are making the choices we are making. And it's a really fun adventure if we choose to make it one. Thank you to those of you who subscribed recently. I haven't been making many videos at all, but there have been new subscribers, so thank you. And thank you to those of you who continue to support and encourage our journey thus far. I sincerely appreciate it. You can like, like if you like, and like, subscribe if you like, and ring the bell, ding dong, if you like, to get notifications on new videos. Though our minds may be different, though our bodies may be different, it is through our hearts that we know our spirits are one. Aloha!